first priority is to go ahead and remove all the fuel injection. So we're gonna remove the upper and lower intake, obviously all the injectors, fuel rail, throttle body. And I'm hoping that when we put our new carburetor on here, that the hat should come close to right here. It, sh it should be in that general vicinity. I know you probably got a lot of questions. Well, what are you gonna do here? How is this gonna work? Uh, we'll handle all that and address it when we get there. There's nothing to do right now, but go ahead and start pulling stuff off. So let's get started. And just like that, we are now carbureted. Well, kind of, sort of. So obviously there's a lot more that needs to be done to get this to work, but I wanted to show everyone just how simple it actually is. I, I think it gets lost. I think some people overlook the simplicity of what you're actually doing. You're just removing an intake, replacing it with another intake and your carburetor. So. Let's talk about what we got to do from here. So I put this up here just to go ahead and show you guys because there's not really much else to do from here. So at least you get to look at this. So this is what it's going to look like, essentially. I think we can actually make this work. Uh, it's going to be a little tight for now, but we should be able to make that work. I can probably twist it up a little bit. So uh, that looks good. So we're just going to put our bolts in. Well, we're going to put new gaskets on, clean everything up. And from here, I'm just going to take the old fuel lines off that are over here on this regulator. We're gonna take those off, put our new fuel lines on and our new regulator. And uh, yeah, we should be pretty much done. So from here, I'm just gonna start pecking away at this thing and get everything bolted down. And once I get it all bolted down, I'll come back to you guys and we'll talk about it some more. All right, let's get some shit on fire. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is gonna be our first initial fire so fuel lines not hooked up or anything like that we just pour some gas down here disable the fuel pump for right now we just want to make sure that what we've done is going to work and you guys still don't know what that is yet but you're probably figuring it out by now we need to make sure this car is going to fire okay so it's only going to run for just a one second hopefully but that'll tell us what we need to know it'll fire all right well Ignition work for sure. That might work. <laughs> that might work. This shit might work. Here, I got it. Here. You got a sticky situation. Ooh, got it just right. <laughs> Alright, let's see if it'll pump. It ain't pumping. Really? I'll call that good. Yeah. We'll just call that good. So it will, it will fire. All right, guys. So let me go ahead and spill the beans as to what's going on here. Uh, obviously, the car is not put together. We're, we shouldn't even really be doing what we're doing. But um, what's going on here is we're actually going to be using the Holly Terminator X to control the fire on the car, to control the distributor and timing. Uh, I mean, if you guys don't know, when you switch to carburetor, I mean, you gotta have a way to control your timing, especially with boost. Like with Andrew's car, he can lock the timing out. We can't lock ours out because it has to, you know, timing has to decrease with boost. So that was verification that this car will run. 
So now all we got to do is hook our fuel lines up. We may have an intake leak. Uh, we're not sure on that yet. So what you, what you guys think? I mean, this is pretty cool. Andrew, it works. It. Yeah, I it absolutely it. works. Now, what we don't know is how all of this is going to work together, right? Um, but as long as we can control timing, guys, we're good because it's all boost reference. Anyway, we don't have any vacuum lines hooked up. We don't have any of that yet. We'll get all that done and we'll be getting back to you guys here real shortly with this. But before we go, I'm just gonna kind of pan over everything. I'll show you the car with the bonnet on it because it actually does fit. So that was good. I thought it might, and it did work out that way. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta remember not to shut the hood because we're gonna like poke a hole through the top of it if we do. All right. You just drill a hole in the center of the hood and put a wing nut on top. <laughs> that would be like would, a hood pin. I mean, that would work, man. Yeah, I think this is gonna look nice. Uh, we still have some wiring that we got to clean up and all that, but now you can get to it to clean it up. Before you couldn't because the intake was in the way. What I wanted to show you was just how simple this was. So you saw me pull the intake off of it, the EFI intake, and literally immediately set down the carbureted intake and then throw the carburetor on it. Guys, that's just how easy it is. Then all you got to do is bolt everything up, get your fuel set, and, and you're good to go. But that's what I wanted to show you. So I'll be ordering the 8AN line tomorrow, but we do have a regulator on here. It's just unplugged at the moment over there on a the relay so that we wouldn't shoot gas everywhere. And all we did was just pour a little bit down into the bowl, front bowl of the carburetor. So the back bowl is not even getting anything. Now there again, the hood is not going to shut on this thing. And we might be able to trim the top of it. Nah. That's still not gonna fit. Sadly, we gotta buy a cow hood. I know, man. I know it sucks. Hard and it is. It sucks, man. Shit, so, dude. so for we're we're gonna do a four inch cow hood on this car when we do it. So, uh, for right now, we're just gonna leave the hood off of it. Well, actually, I talked to Papa T today, and that hood that we were building. I was gonna ask you about. So that. I'm probably gonna go get that at least for now and put it on the car so that we can you know roll it in and out. So. It's gonna look like a real Frankenstein car now with a, well, I don't know though, he's pretty much got that hood about done. So yeah. we'll do some tweaking on it and you never know and we may leave it on the car. Anyway, guys, I hope you're excited about this. This is gonna be cool. I'm, I'm telling you though, I mean, there's gonna be some times where we're scratching our heads, I'm sure with this thing, with the tuning and looking crazy, but just stick it out with us. We're gonna figure it out. It's gonna be awesome. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching. So this will be our first start with the carb hat on. And I'm curious to see how it's gonna run with that. So let's go ahead and bust it off. <laughs>